She wants to be with the one he sees. Say that. Say that. <laughs> okay, now take one of this team over <laughs> here. Uh-huh. With her phone? <laughs> with my phone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't even know it was a live stream. Oh, we live now. Good evening. Good evening and welcome to our inaugural Black History Knowledge Bowl. It is the Panthers. Let me hear you, Panthers. Oh, y'all weak. Where the Panthers at? Show up. Versus the Statesmen. Woo! And we're going to take two on that one just because I'm the host. Thank you. We have the Panthers. Versus the Statesmen. Well, they win by default with the noise level. Okay, I am Tiana McCann Weaver, your host for this evening, and I just wanted to say thank you for having your face in the place. And we just want to give a little love to our people that are in the audience. Let's clap it up for yourselves and team, clap it up for your supporters. Thank you. So we want you all to definitely champion everyone that's on the stage, regardless if it's your team or not, because it took a lot of courage to be out here tonight, and we want to thank them for being here and for having the courage to do so. So clap it up for yourselves just one more time. I want to thank everyone who was a part of making this happen. Um, I really do. I really, really would like to bring the counterpart up. And I don't even want to wait to the end. Donna, can you come up? Come on now. You all give it up for Dr. Donna Williams, who is the director of the Transfer Center at, at Kennedy King College who was actually the visionary and then was like, come on now, come on, Tiana, help me out. Let's make this happen. Please put your hands together. A little louder than that, a little louder than that, a little louder than that, thank you. We want to thank our coaches, Ms. Elise Harvey from Olive Harvey College, and then we want to thank, clap it up for her in her absence. She has an ill baby, so please make sure you all clap it up for her as she's still trying to press her way to be here this evening. And then we have the coaches from the Statesman team. We have Corey Hall, Eric Curry, and Tanya Cox. Thank you all so much for dedicating some time and energy. So I want to now go over just the rules. I want to make sure that no cell phones are on the table. Okay, because, you know, back in the day, we couldn't cheat with our cell phones. We had to write, no, let me stop. I'm not gonna tell you how we cheated, but we did. Um, but they're not going to tonight. No, they're not, right? Clap it up for yourselves and all of your hard work. Each team is gonna consist of four members. We do have some alternates, I believe, available for this team. Um, in the event, we do wanna switch some folks out. Um, the alternates can join before the be in the beginning um, of the next round. So they cannot switch out in the middle of the round. It would have to be at the top of the next round. We are not gonna do a coin toss because guess what? You do not get to pick your categories. We're gonna go down the line and the first one up is how we're gonna go and the first one to buzz is going to have the control of the uh, board. So that's how it goes. Um, so after you have buzzed, and even if that's in the middle of me answer, asking the question, I will not complete the question. You will have to answer from where we left off and where you buzzed. You will have 15 seconds to answer the question. Is that clear? If you do not get it correct, the next team will have 10 seconds to then answer the question. So you probably want to make sure you put your microphone on mute, because as you're still discussing, guess what? They can hear you, that part. Uh, the teams will answer, the team who answers the majority of the questions per round will win uh, that particular round, but we're doing it one point per uh, question anyway, so it works out. There's 15 questions per round, and I hope that you all are ready. I'm gonna introduce our team, and I'm gonna start over here. Since this is their house, let's get it going, and let's introduce the statesmen. We have, um, Faith Dernan, we have Ashley Shannon, we have Tabitha Jackson, and is it Shanera, Shanera, Shanera Swansea. All right, clap it up for yourselves. Then over here we have Torrance Jackson, we have Anika Thomas, we have Gershon Exe, and we have Annette Hicks. 
very good. So listen, we're going to get started. And let me make sure my nerves are good. So those of you that are watching us on YouTube, clap it up for yourselves. No, because we can't hear you clapping, but I hope you're clapping. Hope you're following directions. And Donna, guess what? My questions are not up here. Thank you so much. Live TV, don't you appreciate it? Yes. So we have our Black History Bowl. And our first category, HBCU Facts. What does the acronym HBCU stand for? Historically Black Colleges and Universities. I don't even know who answered that. Did it buzz? Okay. I didn't hear a buzz though. It did? Oh, I didn't hear anything. It was like a little alarm clock. Okay. Could you all scoop back the tables back just a little bit? As the host, I unfortunately cannot see to be able to call on you. Maybe I should bring that tidbit in. Let me acknowledge you before answering as well. Because you heard the buzz, unfortunately, we did not. But you will absolutely still get that point. Historically, black colleges and universities is the correct answer. Good answer. That is one point for the statesman. <laughs> Booker T. Washington founded this HBCU. The Tuskegee University. Tuskegee University, that is correct. Oh. I apologize. That is correct. We're going on to the next question. According to the Higher Education Act of 1965, in order to be considered a HBCU, an institution must meet three criteria. Name at least two. The school must be founded before 1964. Their mission statement must be to educate the black Americans of America. And, do you want me to, Go ahead. and they have to be accredited according to the Secretary of Education. If they are not accredited, they have to be seeking reasonable accreditation with an institution that is reasonable and accredited given by the State of Education. Well, show out then. <laughs> that is the correct answer, and she named all three. Three of the, all three of the three. Very good, yes she did. Which state has the largest number of HBCUs? Alabama. Alabama is the correct answer. <laughs> Having 16 HBCUs in the state. Established in 1867, which university was known as the Teachers College? That is incorrect. Yeah. Normal College? That is incorrect. The correct answer, Alabama State University. Next question. The rapper Common attended this university. Florida A&M. I'm sorry. Who? Fam, you Florida A&M. Yes, correct. The next question. Hold on one second. My buzz is not on. I bet. 
Oh, we'll go to that. Just tweak it. Okay. Next question. According to the US News and World Report, this HBCU is the largest in the United States. Spellman. That is incorrect. It's not. You do have the opportunity to go, yes. You have 10 seconds. That is incorrect. The correct answer is North Carolina A&T State University. Mm. Next question. This college trained pilots in a partnership with Tuskegee. That is correct. You all can clap for the correct answers if you like. Very good. Next question. This university partnered with Google to increase the number of African Americans in the, in the tech field. This university partnered, yes. Tennessee State University? That is incorrect. I was asked to repeat the question before they buzz. This university partnered with Google to increase the number of African Americans in the tech field. You have 10 seconds. AT&T, North Carolina. That is incorrect, it is Howard University. Next question. What is the school mascot for Clark Atlanta University? Would you say that was the same time or no? Okay. I guess a tiger. You know what, this is so funny. It's actually a, what, panther. Spike Lee graduated from which HBCU? Morehouse. The correct answer is Morehouse. This university was the first HBCU to be invited to march during the presidential inaugural parade. This university marched in JFK's presidential inaugural parade. Yes, Howard, that is incorrect. Hmm. 10 seconds. Yes, Jackson State University. The correct answer is Tennessee State University, who actually just won a Grammy, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Next question. What is the name of the bill that provided land grants for state, yes. The Morrill Act of 1890. Correct. Next question. When was the first HBCU founded and what is the university's name? Yes. That would be 1837 and that was Cheney University in Pennsylvania. Very good. That ends HBCU category. Please put your hands together. We are now moving on to arts and entertainment. What national organization was founded on? The NAACP. Correct. Next question. Which rapper known for such albums as Black on? Most Deaf. 
That is correct. Next question. Lena Horne began her career at the Cotton Club. That is correct. Next question. In 1954, Dorothy Dandridge was the first. Yes. Carmen Jones. That is correct. Carmen Jones. I hope you all are at least getting an opportunity to finish reading the question, OK? Because clearly I am not. All right, <laughs> next question. This director, screenwriter, and actor was born? Spike Lee. That is correct. I feel like we're missing out, but I'm going to let you all read the question on the, on the board. <laughs> there you have it. Spike Lee is the answer. Next question. What was the name of the character played by Bill Cosby in the? I will give it to you. Dr. Heathcliff, Cliff Huxtable, correct. But you got to give him his title, honey. He, he was a doctor. He was a whole doctor on the, on the show. OK, very good. Next question. In 1991, what became the first black controlled company? BT. Correct, BET. Next question. Who wrote, their eyes were watching God? Zora Neale Hurston. Correct. Next question. In 1984, what black American singer won eight Grammy Awards? Michael Jackson. That is correct. The correct answer is Michael Jackson. Is that up there? Next question. Who is the queen of soul? Aretha Franklin. Very good. That is correct. <laughs> Next question. Who wrote the autobiography of Malcolm X and the Roots? Alex Haley. That is correct. Next question, I'm sorry. Who is the author of the 1982 epistolary? Yes. Toni Morrison. That is incorrect. Oh, no. Novel, The Color Purple. You have 10 seconds. Alex Walker. I'm sorry? Alex Walker. Hey. Alex. Alex. Hey, Alex Walker. Alex. 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 I don't, I don't, I'm going to say that's incorrect. It's Alice. Were you, Alice Walker. What you say? That is incorrect. I said it was incorrect. Yeah. Next question. Who sold more than 20 million albums and collected more than 700,000 pounds of food for charity during the 1992 Too Legit to Quit tour? MC Hammer. Yes, that is correct. Too much. That's probably why my right knee is bad today. Don't judge me. Next question. What is the name of the record label? Excuse me. Our, Star our uh, buzzers aren't setting. They write it down. They said they was going to do it on the day. They just writing it down.
We thank you for your patience. If I had a voice, I would sing for you all, but I don't want for you all to leave. Exactly. But I can dance, though, if y'all want me to dance. Even with a bad knee, I can still dance now. All right. We still have a light show up here. Does that still mean everything is okay? All right. Thank you. Pardon me? Okay. Well, we will wait for you. I want to make sure that this young lady, hers is not on at all. I need a DJ. Where the DJ at? No? Is it a certain way that she needs to press it? No. Okay. The next question. What is the name of the record label started by Barry Gordy? Motown Records. That is correct. Next question. What stage name of female rapper, actress, and producer, Dana Owens? What is the stage name? Queen Latina. That is correct. That is the last question of our arts and entertainment. Could you touch yours? I'm sorry, I met the, this young lady right here, Tabitha. <laughs> you know, do you all want to share a person? No. Go for it. Please do. Okay, can we get you all to share a buzzer as well? No, share. So the two in the middle, can you all share? Share one. Okay, put, just push it to the front. So the two, no, 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 you're gonna share those two, I'm gonna share that one. Got it? Let's test it. Okay. The category is sports. What black American was once ranked as number one tennis player of the world? Yes. Serena Williams. Incorrect. You have 10 seconds. Athena Gibson. That is incorrect. The correct answer is Arthur Ashe. Oh, Next question. With what professional baseball team did Ernie Banks start and end? Yes. Chicago Cubs. That is correct. Next question. 
Next question. What basketball star center perfected a shot known as? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That is correct. At the age of 24, this golfer won the 82nd Tiger Woods. That is correct. Next question. Who was the youngest prize fighter who ever? Mark Tyson. No, that was not. Oh. Muhammad Ali. That is incorrect. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson is correct. I'm so tired. Next question. What boxer was known as the statesman? Muhammad Ali. That is correct. Next question. Which African American Olympic track and field star? To your microphone, Gabby Douglas. Gabby Douglas. Could you unmute yourself? So I can hear you. Is it Gabrielle Douglas? That is incorrect. Okay, Wil Wilma Rudolph. That is correct. Wilma Rudolph. Next question. The Globe Trotters were famous basketball. Wait to be acknowledged. Okay. You did get it. Basketball. That is correct. Please wait to be acknowledged, although you were the first to ring the bell. I need you to be acknowledged. Next question. In 1988, then in the 19, oh shoot, okay, I messed up and you still ready, let's go. Jackie Joyner Kersey. Jackie Joyner Kersey is correct. Were, in, were the panelists even born in 1988? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was cracking, but I was facking. 1988, can you all remember where you were? Jackie Joyner Kersey was the correct answer. The next question. Who is the NBA star that LeBron James? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That is correct, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, which actually I believe he surpassed it by now, right? Yeah, like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, very good. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Next question. What style of jump rope was made popular right over here? Double Dutch. That is correct. <laughs> do I lose my black card if I do not jump it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you never yes. lose your black card. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> Double Dutch is the correct answer. The next question. Who was the first black American elected to the baseball hall? That's 15 seconds. Yeah. Hank Aaron. That is incorrect. It's Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson? On the microphone, sweetie. Uh, Jackie Robinson? Oh, it was already yeah. on there. Uh, Jackie Robinson. Correct, Jackie Robinson. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Next question. How many gold medals did track? Nine. Nine is correct. <laughs> Next question. I'm waiting for there. Buzzers. Are we good to go? Next question. What basketball superstar became the first African American coach to co to coach a major league sports team? Yeah. Yours is buzzing. Bill Russell. Bill Russell is the correct answer. Now, just because I point over here don't mean you answer all the questions. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. I don't want no you hear her buzzer going on very well. Bill Russell is the correct answer. 
Next question. I'm going to give it a second for everybody to reset. Who starred in Space Jam as himself? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is the correct answer. That completes this round of sports. Please clap it up. Please clap it up for yourselves. Do we have the updated score so they'll know what that is before going into the final round? And then this is the easiest, I mean, easy breezy is category of them all, which is STEM, right? Y'all ready? This is the last round. Pardon me? It's one point per question. Yep, and it's 15 questions in this round. Right now, the score is um, 23, the Panthers, and then 14 for the Statesmen. Clap it up for yourselves. 15 questions in this round. It is still anybody's game. You get one point per question. Question, everybody? Nope. I want to make sure that the buzzers are synced and ready to go. Very good. Who invented the first elevator in 1880? Alexander Miles. Alexander Miles is the correct answer. Next question. American engineer, physician, and NASA astronaut. She became the first May Jemison. May Jemison is the correct answer. Next question. What breakthrough medical procedure was performed by Dr. Drew, Dr. Daniel Hill? It was, and I actually heard this one first anyway, so, yes. Open heart surgery. That is correct. I did hear this one. And we're going to test it. We're going to test yours. Okay, now. Next question. Where is Meharry Medical College located? Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee is the correct answer. Thank you for your patience. Are they good to go? No? Do we need to be up close? Okay, very good. Nashville, Tennessee, what's the correct answer? Do we need you to come up closer? Can you come up closer for us? Maybe for my sanity, if you just could, please. Just humor me, please. I'd appreciate it. Appreciate you. We're all good? Next question. Who developed a drug used to treat glaucoma and eye disease? 15 seconds. 
That is incorrect. Mm -hmm. And get on the microphone. Oh, I want to be able to hear you. Ten seconds. You can't lose answering the question wrong. You don't lose a point. Did you want to answer? Try? No? Okay. One of our neighborhood high schools, Percy Julian. Very good. Next question. We're green. We're good to go? Very good. He was interested in plants at an early age and was? Dr. George Washington Carver. That is correct. Next question. Austin Jackson created what well-known dessert? Ice cream. That is correct. My favorite. Thank you, Austin Jackson. Next question. What weather instrument was invented by Frederick Jones? 15 seconds. The Doppler? That is incorrect. Ten seconds. The What were you gonna say? It's the one with the mercury in it. The thermostat? Yeah. No. It was the thermostat. See? Mm. Next question. African American inventor whose invention included the traffic light, and the gas mask. Is that Garrett Morgan? Garrett Morgan, correct. I felt like I heard somebody over here in the audience. You all please, please, I you know the answer and I know that black history is your thing. If you can do me a favor and please not say it out loud. I'm not sure I heard somebody. Next question. Okay. What did George Washington Carver you? Yes. Peanuts. That is correct. <laughs> Next question. John Baptiste, Point Du Sable, Trapper and Trey. Too slow. Chicago. Chicago. Chicago is the correct answer. Next question. Matthew Henson was the first North Pole. North Pole is the correct answer. Next question. What black American scientist developed a way of separating blood plasma? Charles Drew. Charles Drew. Don't forget his doctor. Dr. Charles Drew. Next question. Benjamin Banneke trivia. What The second hand, red. The watch. That is incorrect. 10 seconds. Seasonal maps, astronomy. Um, he had um, the tides, when the tides would go in and out. 
um, whether farmers information. I need Calvary. a judge for this one. That was a lot. <laughs> and the answer is a weather forecast. So. So are we saying correct? Okay, judge says that is correct. Correct or incorrect? Listen. They say incorrect. Next question. What did George Washington Carver use to develop? Peanut oil? That is incorrect. Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes is the correct answer. And that is the last question of our final round. Can I get the DJ, please, as we tally up the points? We to, can I get the DJ while we tallying up the points? Okay. If you've been following along on YouTube, which I just got word, someone is tracking and said that she was very close, but they said no. And so your answer as well. So folks on YouTube are absolutely watching. Um, we have KKC with a score of 17 points. Please clap it up for KKC, the statesman. And then we have Olive Harvey's Panthers at 32 points. We have deemed the winners this evening for our inaugural Black History Knowledge Bowl, the Olive Harvey College Panthers. Congratulations. We want to take this opportunity to say thank you again for your participation. Number one, as participa participants and contestants, you all did a phenomenal job. We are looking forward. No, clap it up for them, honestly. That's a lot. What a great way to end our Black History Month. We are really excited to be a part of this. We want to thank the coaches again for your hard work and dedication and connecting with the students. I want to personally thank Dr. Donna Davis for all of her hard work. This has been um, a lot of sweat, a lot of hours <laughs> clocked in. I think that our bosses should automatically give us a vacation day. I'm just saying it out loud, hoping to manifest it in Put it into the, no, okay, my boss not here. Hopefully she watching it on YouTube, right? So we want to congratulate you all. We do have some gifts for our participants today. Again, audience, we could not have done this without you. Please clap it up for yourselves one more time. We would like to get some pictures. Please be sure to hashtag transfer centers, CCC transfer centers, OHC, and KKC transfer centers. And we do, but wait, we got a trophy, right? And we have little gifts. We have more gifts, so please do not leave the stage when we end. And we actually also have some food and snacks in another room. So let me just give them the trophy. We, I'm going to hold it in my office. Yeah, there it is. We're going to do that. Until next year. It'll stay yeah, there. We need, It'll stay we need better buses next year. Uh, I Uh-huh. There it is. Hold on, the, the camera's coming.
And I'm getting in one. Thank you. I am standing. Got great prizes for you all as well. Thank you so much. Yeah. And if you all Everybody did a great job. Donna. Everybody, can we take a picture? Wait, wait, let them take their picture first.